Legion of Dramas could make such a sound! Enjoy and keep pace, but attention. Slow now. A race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you've blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your prize. A saddle adorned with your crest. Oh, thanks. By the way, my mate saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Would you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah, I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. So? Any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Sorry. Don't drink while I work. Dropped something. I demand satisfaction. You've insulted me twicely. And twicely ought to be enough. You refuse to duel? Then I shall show you how I treat cowards.
Three nothing, Ty. Might want to give some serious thought to whether you want to face me for a fourth. I shall kill you, freak! You got your chance, sir. You failed to seize it, and now you must leave. We shall meet again, mutant. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Stop send the whip away from the don't scoundrel. Ever seeking Lady Vivian. Some kind of maniac. Hmm. Strange. I was sure I'd find her here. Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Come on. Get me off to death, Drifter. What do they call you? 
What's your crest? Speak! Ravix of Fourhorn. My crest shows a maiden sitting astride a... striding bear. So, now that we've had our night-to-night -night chat, mind telling me why you're here? For the head of Grotori, the monster from yon cave. I swore on my honor I would bring it to my betrothed, mount it on a pike. Made any progress? I've... Um, <clears throat> I've been gathering my strength. I shall attack soon. I gave my word, and my word is my honor. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, uh, I suppose you're right. <sighs> we must fight side by side then, for honor. I should be the one to lop up. Hmm, strange. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. You'd think you were in a winter garden.
many sins! Oh, time to end this. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I... I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Please, you must accept this trifle as a token of my gratitude. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, uh, nay. The head of this feast is a trifle wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. I beg your pardon. That I wish to make my beloved's name known the world over to bring her glory. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Find some other way to prove your valor. Only thing you've proven so far is that you're a fool. You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave.
Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Most likely you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter? Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Can't promise anything till I hear what you have to say. Decisions based on appearances? Not a good idea. Regretted making those too often in the past. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full, but now it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus, I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. 
for I fear that is what lies in store. The curse, it could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good, managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as-yet-unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. change it will no but I discovered the water of this pool helps its effects are brief but I can always be sure of them hmm interesting come Did you learn anything? Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I shall be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time, Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you? I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till attorney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I know now the two teams' rosters. 
I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso will lead the opposing team. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. If you swing your blade as deftly as you shoot, we shall win. Good luck. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight, full tilt, till one dropped to its knees. Who virtue ignores, or lance blows unclean, shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say, I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins, the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Let us begin! Shout, race a ruckus! Blood, sweat and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Leaving Leviodo's wounds. No mercy! No! Hold together! Pathetic. The words never seen a fight quite so glorious. For showing such verve, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Raffix of Forhorn, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials, each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer grievous harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? Thanks, I'm fine. The brave knight Raphix hails from Forhorn. It might sound fictitious, yet there he was born. Now entering the grounds, a tight ton of infamy. Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of Lassie's Tony. I wish both combatants good fortune and fame. They think the grounds, the titans lock stairs, ferocious and spry as wolves hunting bears. Mesdames et Messieurs, our victor, our champion, the unequal and silent Grégoire de Gorgon! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and now a few words from our sponsor. More strong bones and teeth drink to foe. A wine for your table, a wine for your soul. Let's 
Let's end this. Champion, a sight to behold. He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon. Hail, Ralphix, Sadfix, Sadfix, As patron of this grand tourney, I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. He made no vow. Yet throughout the tourney demonstrated knightly virtue that doubtless carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's Champion of the Arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in my tent. I have duties to attend to, as do you. Folk regard you. The least you should do is obey. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but seems your tent's grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, sir. Very well, then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the witchers see. Out now! You assured me I could trust you. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Need to find an egg, preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, 
What will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. Oh no! A pair of these got at the nest! Stand back. I'll take care of this. Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so. Now what must I do? Just to be sure, gonna ask one last time. Positive you want to do this? If we succeed, the changes will be irreversible. You'll probably also only have seven years left to live, at the most. Seven years free of the fear that someone might spy me at the wrong moment? Of the stigma of being a freak, a monster? Seven years of a life both true and unfettered? Yes, Kelt. I'm certain I wish to do it. All right. Concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muna Gandrao. Muna Finerat. Muana Gandrao. Muana Finerat. to thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me. To help you. Yes. I'm grateful to him as well, immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should. But I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Run, Roach.
run, Roach.